How to play snooker. Snooker is a popular billiards game that is similar to pool. Snooker is played on a rectangular snooker table with six pockets, one at each corner and two in the middle. Object of the snooker. The object of snooker is to pocket the balls legally according to the rules and to score more points than the opponent. Points are scored by pocketing balls in the correct order using a numerical sequence. What you need to play snooker. A snooker table, a cue stick, a white cue ball, 15 red balls, six colored balls, including yellow, green, brown, blue, pink, and black. Points or scoring. Points are scored in two ways. One, points for fouls by the opponent. Two, points by legally potting reds or colored balls. Each legally potted red ball has one point and each legally potted color ball has a different point value. Yellow, two points, green, three points, brown, four, blue, five, pink, six points, and black, seven points. Game setup. Each of the colored balls has a specific location on the table. Set the rack by placing all 15 red balls in a pyramid at one end of the table. Then place the pink ball directly in front of the point of the triangle. Place the black ball a few inches behind the red balls. Place the blue ball in the center. The yellow, brown, and green balls are lined up horizontally on the breaking point at the end of the table. Who goes first? Players can decide by tossing a coin. The player who wins the toss has the choice of going first or can ask the opposing player to initiate the tiebreaker. Let's start the game. The game of snooker begins when the first player places the white cue ball anywhere inside the D. Now players hit the cue ball with his or her cue stick towards the red balls so that the cue ball hits the red balls. Each turn, until the red balls are off the table, you must hit a red ball first with the cue ball. Points are scored by potting the right balls in the right order. If players pot the red ball, this red ball will stay in the pocket. Now the player will try to pot any of the colored balls. Make sure to say which color ball you're trying to pot. If you successfully pot that colored ball, then that color ball will be returned to their designated spot on the table. If the color ball doesn't fit on its spot, then the color ball goes on the highest valued spot available. If all of these positions are occupied, then place the respotted ball as close as possible to its original position on a straight line between its spot and the nearest point on the top cushion. If you pot that color ball, then you score the value of the color ball plus one point for potting the red ball. For example, if you pot the blue ball with the red ball, you will earn six points. One point for red ball and five points for a blue ball. If the player pots a legal ball, then that player will continue his or her turn until he or she fails to pot a ball. This is called a break. A break is the number of points scored by a player in a single visit to the table. After each turn, player's next shot must be at a red ball again. Continue the game in this way until all of the red balls go into a pocket. When all the red balls are gone, then you have to pocket all the color balls in this order. First, the yellow ball. Second, green ball. Third, brown. Fourth, blue. Fifth, pink. And last, the black. Fouls and penalties. In these following situations, you will lose your turn and your opponent will get a minimum of four points or the value of the ball, whichever is greater. For example, if you're playing a green ball, but you hit a black ball, then the opponent will earn seven points. If you commit foul, your opponent may choose to take the shot or turn the table back to you, playing a shot with both feet off the ground. If your cue ball first hits a ball other than the ball you're trying to play, then you don't earn any score, but your opponent scores the value of the ball pocketed. If you touch any ball on the table, then the penalty is the value of the ball touched or four points. If your cue ball does not hit anything on the table. If you pot the cue ball. If you pot the incorrect ball in the wrong sequence. Jump shots are illegal in snooker. If any of the balls land off the table. Playing a push shot, a shot where the cue, cue ball, 
and the object ball are simultaneously in contact. If the cue ball leaves the bed of the table and jumps over a ball, what is snooker? Snooker is a term used to describe a certain scenario. Snooker is when there's no direct path between the cue ball and the ball you're trying to hit. In order to make this happen, you'll usually have to make a kick shot where the cue ball bounces off one or more of the rails before it actually hits the target ball. Free ball. If you commit a foul and your opponent is snookered on all balls, he is allowed to select any ball on the table as a free ball for this shot only. When the snooker game ends, the player with the most points at the end of the game wins. In few situations, the game will end if a player resigns because there aren't enough balls on the table to make up for the opponent's score, and if the player does not have enough options to make a good snooker to force the opponent into a foul. If the scores are equal after potting the black ball, the black ball is re-spotted, then toss a coin. The player who wins the toss will choose who will take the first shot at the black, and the player places the white cue ball anywhere inside the D. The first foul, or pot, ends the game. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.